hey what's up everybody welcome back to another video so in this video I will show you how to fix this this site can't be reached error on your WordPress website this usually happens when there's some problem with your DNS or if you don't have a proper hosting so we will try all the methods and fix this in this video alright so to begin with I will first uh, log into my cPanel so cPanel is called control panel you usually get cPanel with the web hosting so you need you can log in and uh, check if everything is in place you can see this is my primary domain and the IP address and all these features scroll down to domains and just check if your domain is redirected no it's not redirected and also make sure that you check your server files this is the file manager of my web hosting my website you can see uh, I have all this HD access file and all the WordPress files looks fine so there seems to be an error with something else not this so I will close this cPanel and uh, just go to this website called into DNS this will show you all your DNS records if you have made some changes or if there are any problem in your DNS you will see those errors or name servers here enter your website here in the box enter your website in the box and click on report there it is you can see my name servers are updated as per Cloudflare by the way guys Cloudflare is a DNS provider so what happens is when you connect your website with Cloudflare you need to change the name servers to Cloudflare so that you know Cloudflare can uh, be a license between you and the web server so right now I can see my DNS record says it is updated as per the Cloudflare name servers so obviously this is the problem so to fix this you first need to log into your hosting account I have a hosting with this website called go viral host it's a very cheap Indian web hosting company so I'll log into my hosting account and uh, find out the name servers and uh, as you can see on the screen my name servers for this website for this hosting account is ns1.govitalhost.com so my name servers are supposed to be this instead of this cloud state servers so to remove this cloud face servers and change this to the actual name servers that are supposed to be updated in the website or the domain you need to go to the place where you bought the domain so if you have seen my previous video I bought this domain recently from GoDaddy so I will log into my GoDaddy account and go to domain portfolio from here navigate to your website and uh, find out the DNS settings here it is click on manage domain sorry manage DNS and scroll down and uh, you can see my name servers are still the nick and you can see my name servers are still Cloudflare name servers so I will have to change this click on this button over here and uh, select enter my own name servers and replace these name servers with your actual name servers so I'll change the first one update the second name server as well and click on save so name servers take some time to update usually it takes like 20 hours or 40 usually it gets updated usually it gets updated uh, in an hour or two but uh, it will show you a message that your DNS servers usually usually DNS records take some time to update on your website so let me go back to this website into dns.com and uh, let's see if my DNS records are updated I can see that uh, the DNS records are now changed so let me open a new tab and try logging to my website I'm still getting this error 
So I'll go back to GoDaddy and refresh. So let me try with a different browser. I'll open Microsoft Edge and uh, go to this website, tipswithalam.com. So it is still not fixed, guys. So the next step is to access this website from a different device. So I will turn on the screen recording on my mobile phone and uh, open the browser and visit this website and uh, as you can see I'm able to access my website from a different device and uh, let me log into my WordPress dashboard As you can see, I'm able to access my WordPress dashboard from the mobile browser, but uh, I don't know why it is not accessing from the computer. Maybe this could be because of uh, the cache and the device. So it will fix eventually after an hour or two, but for now, I can only access this from a different device. So if you want to access from the same device, just wait for some hours and uh, you will be able to access. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.